Let's talk about computing information inside of our, our project here. Uh, in this case, we're going to go into compute mode. And in, our, and in our compute mode, we have a couple different options in here. We have the ability to measure length. We have the ability to measure angles, ability to measure perimeters and areas, um, even volume computation as well. And then we have the ability to measure a down and out option. So let's start with the length and the distance. So the distance we want, want to specify, for instance, um, you're trying to set up your robot and you don't know the distance exactly between two points and you want to kind of calculate that. So um, I'll pick control point one here and uh, control point two to de determine the length between those two. So you simply select uh, one point and you select the second point and it will give you the distance uh, between those two points. If you decide to go to another point, let's say, for instance, control point three, it will maintain the first point that you selected and therefore will measure the distance from that point to any other location on your drawing. So you can go even uh, diagonally over here to CP4. To clear the first selection, you want to go ahead and select the clear button over on the lower left hand side. That way you can now select another starting point uh, to do measurements. To measure the angle, we want to go ahead and specify three points. In this case, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. And I'll say I want to measure the angle between these three points here. So I'm select W2, W3, and then W4. And that will give me an angle of 119 degrees. Again, we can want to go ahead and clear that. Let's say we want to measure an angle between W4, W5, and W6. Give you 119 degrees also as well there. So again, if you want to if you want to know a particular angle and you're trying to set up your robot and you're trying to get a, a good reference angle of what it will look like, let's say for instance CP1, CP2. Um, if you select this, don't forget to to deselect the points before. So we want to deselect. So you select uh, or select CP1, CP2, and then an estimate, um, or in this case, um, I, um, I want to clear the selections because I, I selected the wrong point here. So I'll select CP1 here, say G7 will be roughly the location of my robot, and then CP2. And then you see I got a distance of about 44 degrees, so it, it, it's close to where my robot should be, but I should probably change that angle a little bit. So I'll change that and select, let's say, the one in between here. And now we got a good distance there to, to place the robot in between there. So somewhere in the middle of the project here, I can specify the robot um, distance from, from my two control points. So it's a good way to measure your angles that way. I'll clear that selection. Now we want to go ahead and uh, measure the area. And in this case, we also want to measure depth of an area, we're going to go ahead and, and zoom into the foundation here. We select these four points in here. Um, so what I want to do is, it's going to give us some information. The first thing I want to do is, is give it the depth, and I went ahead and specified already a one foot depth for my um, foundation here. If you can, you can go ahead and change it, and you see how your volume will change. Then I want to go ahead and select my four points. So I'll select my starting at F4 here, F3, two and F1 here. So what this gives me, it gives me the area of these four points um, and the volume based on the depth that we selected. Now the perimeter that you see is the perimeter on those four points without the last one. You see that dashed area that is represented there with that line that doesn't really cover uh, the perimeter all the way around. So we want to make sure we specify um, the last point to cover that last perimeter. Um, giving us the correct uh, perimeter distance all the way around our space. Um, so again, this gives you area, volume, and perimeter. All right, so let's go ahead and clear those points. Now let's say I want to do a, a simple down and out calculation. So I'm just going to go ahead and simply say, okay, so I'm going to select my two points, say from here to here. And I want to say how far out is G8 
uh, in this case. So um, it's going to measure down uh, five feet in that direction and then out uh, three feet seven uh, to the left in this case. Okay, so it really varies on which direction you're going. It will show you a positive or a negative on your out. And we'll go ahead and clear that. 